Hi, welcome to Cartier V5 video tutorial. I want to do the spring with an angle which I did before in NX now in Cartier V5. Therefore I used two laws, two parallel curves and a combined curve. So let's have fun with Cartier V5. Okay, first I will insert a geometrical set. Name, maybe curves or oh, one for sketches. And one for curves. And OK. Let's start with our, our sketch. That would be a sketch on the YZ plane. Hide these yellow projected elements, and that's just a line. Give it some constraints. That point should be on the set axis coincident, and that line and this axis should be coincident, and the length might be 500. Leave the sketch. Now I need two laws. First one, okay. I need a perimeter type angle, and I will call this just alpha. Then I need another new parameter type should be length and that would be x. Now the formula. Let's start with a normal helix. So I will go for x equals cosinus of alpha multiplied by 50 multiplied with 100 millimeter and OK. So that's not OK. because this should be multiplied. Okay. And the second law would be very similar. Again, I need a parameter of type length, which I will call y. And another one, again an angle. And I will give this the same name, alpha. And the formula would be y equals sinus alpha multiplied with 50 multiplied with 100 millimeter. And OK. Let's take a look. I need some curves. Oh yeah, I have to switch back to generative shape design and make this the object in work. Now let's go for a parallel curve. The curve would be this one. Support might be that plane. And the law curve would be law 1. Close and OK. The second curve would be another parallel curve. Again, that sketch is the curve. 
and the support would be in this case that plane and the law would be the second law close and ok so now you got two curves and if you combine these two curves you will get a helix so go for combine this curve with that curve and ok and hide those two and you got a helix straight helix now to add an angle I need to modify one of these these laws so we'll go for law 1 and modify it I will add a factor which depends on alpha multiplied let's say 500 millimeters divided by 1 red because otherwise the units will not work and ok and see you got a helix with an angle and if you change that value you will get different angles so to get a spring I need to go back to my generative shape design maybe insert a new geometrical set which I call surfaces not an ordered one but a normal one let's make a circular sweep go for sweep circular center and radius center curve would be this one which is also the spine and radius might be 20 or let's say let's check 20 and confirm this takes a while okay maybe 10 would be more appropriate this takes really a long time 10 and ok and then close the surface go to part body part design close the surface that surface right here the sweep okay hide the surfaces hide the curves hide the sketches and apply material that would be chroma okay switch to view with material and I'm done so hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see more give it a like down below leave a comment thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye